everyone. I am sending this out to you guys. This is our um, big song project for the next few weeks. Um, Stairway to Heaven. I'm gonna walk you through the intro. That what I that's the part I just played, and basically. What we're gonna do is kind of break it down to just playing the chords, and then uh, once you get the left hand down, the pattern is relatively easy. And you'll probably notice that I'm using my fingers for the right hand pattern. You can also use your pick. So, um, and I'll show you how to do both both versions. Um, it's your choice, and uh, you also have the tab on Power School that you can check out as well. For right now, I'm just gonna walk you through the chords. So, first chord, barring three or four strings on the fifth fret. It really doesn't matter. Um, it's three or four, I'm barring four. My third finger is on the seventh fret, fourth string. And this is called an A minor chord. And when I play it, I'm just gonna play four, Next chord is an A minor ninth chord with G sharp in the bass. And that looks like this. If I'm moving from my A minor chord to the next chord, I'm going to lift up my third finger. I'm going to place my second finger on the fourth string, sixth fret. My pinky is on the seventh fret, first string. Well, that should sound like this. If you strum it, it just sounds like this. If you pick it in the in the pattern, it will be strings four and one together, and then two, three, one. So it's four and one together, two, three, one. So I put those two chords together, it sounds like this. First chord is A minor, four, three, two, one. The next chord, four and one together. For this, I'm just using my thumb and my index finger. Lots of options with this. All right, the next chord is an A minor chord. You're going to, it's, it's called an A minor seven. And you're going to just lift up the second finger and the pinky. And actually you're gonna slide the pinky up one fret and the first finger is still barring. This, this time you have to bar four strings. So barring four strings, pinky moves up to the eighth fret and it's the same patterns, four and one together. And then two, three, one. Putting those three chords together, my first chord. My second chord. next chord. Next chord, I'm going to move my whole hand down. I'm going to bar three strings on the second fret. I'm putting my third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string. And then my middle finger will be on the second um, string third fret. All right, this is called a D slash F sharp. It looks like a D major chord. The third finger is here. All right, it's the same pattern that we just played, four and one together. Two, three, one. Four and one together. Two, three, one. If I put all those, uh, all the, all four chords together, I get this. Next chord is an F major seven chord, not barring. You give, now you, your left hand gets a little bit of a break. I'm gonna play an F major seven chord. You all know this chord is the first fret, second string, second fret, third string, third fret, fourth string. And I'm gonna play four and one together. Two, three, two, and then one, two, three. So 
was four and one together. That's F major 7. Now I'm going to place my second finger on the second fret of the fifth string. With my thumb, I'm going to play the fifth string over here. I'm going to play the third and second strings open with my second and first finger. So I'm just going to pluck those together. All right. And now after that, I'm going to move my second finger down to the second fret third string adding my first finger to the first fret second string and then pluck the same three strings two times. So put, putting that together it sounds like this. All right, going back to the beginning and I'll play the intro. So it's second and third strings A minor and now the last part is open fifth string second fret and as soon as you hit the second fret fifth string you're going to slide it into your eighth fret same string all right and then down to the seventh fret 